Hello students! Welcome to Grade 10 Science Lesson. And I'm your teacher, Mom Marian Soriano. Have you noticed how the word ambulance written in an ambulance car? Did you ever wonder why it is written this way? Let's find out in today's lesson. Lesson 4. Light and Mirrors When people look into a mirror, they see an image of themselves behind the glass. The image results from light rays encountering the shiny surface and bouncing back, providing a mirror image. What is a mirror? A mirror is an object that reflects an image. A mirror is a wave reflector. Reflection is the bouncing of light rays when it hits a surface like a mirror. There are two common types of mirrors. We have plain mirror, which is a mirror with a flat reflective surface and commonly used by us to check ourselves every day. Next, we have spherical mirror, which has the shape of a piece cut out of a spherical surface. There are two types of spherical mirrors, concave and convex, which will be furtherly discussed in the next video lesson. To learn more about reflection of light by mirrors, here are some important terms which you need to understand first. Light rays Light ray is an idealized model of light which is drawn a straight line. There are two important rays. We have Incident ray which is the ray of light approaching a surface of a mirror. Next, we have reflected ray, which is the ray of light which leaves the surface of a mirror. To understand further the image formed by a mirror, we have the normal line, an imaginary line that can be drawn perpendicular to the surface of a mirror at the point of incidence where the ray strikes in the mirror. It is very important for you to remember this rays of light. The angle of incidence versus the angle of reflection. Using the incident ray, reflected ray, and the normal line, the angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal line, while the angle of reflection is the angle between the reflected ray and the normal line. According to the law of reflection, the normal line, incident ray, and the reflected ray lie on the same plane. It also states that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection, as long as the surface is smooth and even, just like mirrors. Let's have an example. What is the angle of reflection if the angle of incidence is equal to 45 degrees? The answer is, the angle of reflection is also 45 degrees. To help you describe the image formed by mirrors, we have the magnification equation. The magnification equation tells you the change in size or height of the image relative to the object and image distance from the mirror. The magnification equation is image height over height of the object or equal to negative distance of image over distance of object. Remember. The height of the image will be negative if the image is inverted or real image. Let's have a practice exercise using the magnification equation. The problem is, calculate the magnification of the image form by a concave mirror if the height of the candle is 6 cm and the image height is 4 cm. Remember, the image is inverted, so don't forget to put negative side in the value of the height of the image. Look at the figure at the right side of the problem. The given are, height of the object is equal to 6 cm, height of image is equal to 4 cm. The required is the magnification. Our equation would be, magnification is equal to height of image over height of object. For our solution, substituting the values negative 4 cm over 6 cm, cancelling the unit centimeters, 
The answer is negative 0.7. The image is smaller than the object. A negative value of the magnification means the image is inverted, therefore it's a real image. The magnification equation will help you describe the image form by mirrors. If the value of the magnification of an image is less than 1, it means the image is smaller than the object or reduced in size or height. If the value of the magnification of an image is more than 1, it means the image is larger than the object or enlarged. And lastly, if the value of the magnification of an image is equal to 1, it means the image size or height is the same as the object. This is very common for plane mirrors, where the magnification is equal to 1. Reflection can happen not only on smooth surface but also on rough surface. There are two types of reflection. We have specular or regular reflection and diffuse or irregular reflection. When we say specular or regular reflection, this is the reflection of light rays on smooth surfaces such as mirrors or calm body of water. For diffuse or irregular reflection, this is the reflection of light rays on rough surfaces such as wavy water or asphalt roadway. Let's take a look closer why there are specular or diffuse reflection. In specular reflection, the surface is smooth, so the angle of incident ray is equal to the angle of reflected ray, giving you a clear image of an object. While in diffuse reflection, the surface is uneven, so the angle of incident ray is not equal to the angle of reflected ray giving you a blurry image. It is very important to know the type of image formed by any optical device such as mirror. There are two types of images. We have virtual image and real image. For virtual image, it occurs where rays only appear to diverge. A virtual image is always upright. While in real image, it is formed when reflected rays converge in front of the mirror. A real image is always inverted or upside down and can be projected on a screen. Let's apply what you have learned and describe the images formed by plane mirrors. Let's have an activity. Describe the image formed by a plane mirror. You may write your answers on a piece of paper. Let's start! Analyze the figure that will be presented. This is a plane mirror. This is the reflective side or in front of the mirror. The back side or behind the mirror. And this is you standing in front of the mirror. An incident ray strike the mirror and reflected. Another incident ray strike the mirror and reflected. Extending the reflected rays behind the mirror, it merged at one point forming an image of you. Question number one. What is the orientation of the image, upright or inverted? Question number two. What type of image was formed, real image or virtual image? Question number three. Compare the size or height of the image to the object. Is it reduced? Enlarge or smaller? And question number four, if you are 10 boxes away from the plane mirror, how far is your image from the mirror? Use the unit boxes to describe the distance of your image from the plane mirror. Let's answer. For question number one, the image is upright. For question number 2, since the image is upright, the image is virtual. For question number 3, the size or height of the image is the same as you or object. Therefore, there is no magnification, or the magnification is 1. Question number 4, the image has the same distance as the object from the mirror, which is 10 boxes away. Always remember these characteristics of image formed by plane mirrors. A plane mirror always forms an upright image, which means it's a virtual image or it was formed behind the mirror or at the back of the mirror. 
A plane mirror produces image that has an apparent left-right reversal. This is the reason the word ambulance is written in opposite, because when the driver of the vehicle ahead of the ambulance looks in the mirror, the person can read it as ambulance and give way to it. And lastly, the image and object are the same distance from a plane mirror. The image size or height is the same as the object size, or the magnification is equal to 1. To summarize what you have learned from this lesson, a mirror is an object that reflects an image. There are two common types of mirror, plane mirror or flat mirror, and spherical or curved mirror. Two examples of this are concave and convex. According to the law of reflection, it states that the normal line, incident ray, and the reflected ray lie on the same plane. Furthermore, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. For magnification equation, if the value of the magnification of an image is less than 1, it means the image is smaller than the object or reduced in size or height. If the value of the magnification of an image is more than 1, it means the image is larger than the object or enlarged. And lastly, if the value of the magnification of an image is equal to 1, it means the image size or height is the same as the object. You've learned also that there are two types of reflection, specular or regular reflection, where the surface must be even or smooth, and diffuse or irregular reflection if the surface is uneven or rough. There are two types of image. Real image is formed if the image orientation is inverted, while virtual image is a bright. The characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror are A plane mirror always forms an upright image, which means it's a virtual image, and form behind the mirror. A plane mirror produces image that has an apparent left-right reversal. The image and object are the same distance from a plane mirror. The image size or height is the same as the object size or the magnification is equal to 1. I hope you learned and enjoyed our lesson. This is Mom Marian Soriano. See you in the next lesson.